of being home alone is really terrifying. Christine Kasperzak retired from the post office five years ago, but she found sitting at home was taking her down. So to stay active, she got a part-time job working in the kitchen at the Chitawaga Senior Center. With the cooking here, it serves a purpose. The people here need me and I need them. For other seniors, getting a part-time job is financially crucial. Because Social Security is not paying enough, and with the price of everything nowadays, it's just too expensive. But older workers face challenges when looking to get hired. They don't want to hire them because they think they're unable because they're old. Age discrimination is still a problem, and I think there's still some bad myths about older workers. That's where a new partnership between McDonald's and the AARP is hoping to help. This summer, McDonald's wants to hire 10,000 people in New York State and it's putting a big focus on hiring older workers. And it's not just in their restaurants, it's also in their corporate headquarters, which we think is wonderful. So it's a span of different jobs. Older workers have many benefits for an employer. You know you can rely on us. Expertise into doing these things. They're good at teamwork. They're good at collaboration. These are all really, I mean, th these are skills that a robot cannot do. McDonald's is also looking to hire younger workers who can use the Archways to Opportunities program to earn a high school diploma, get college tuition assistance, and learn English as a second language. It will create a multi generational workforce for the fast food restaurant. It's folks from different generations that are working together are more productive. With five generations of people working together, it is a chance for young and old to learn something new while getting a paycheck. Oh, I think that's a great idea, too, and I think they can learn from the seniors and vice versa. McDonald's has posted 58,000 job openings across the nation on AARP, and we put a link to that on our website at WKBW.com. In Buffalo, Ed Riley 7 Eyewitness News.